Hi there, thank you for logging on. It's quarter past three, Wednesday the 16th of May. Very, very cold once again. A little bit of cloud along the coast and a couple of showers. That trend is with us for the week. So nothing major going on across the nation due to a big belt of high pressure that set up shop in the mid-latitude. So I thought I'd do something a little bit different and just explain how the whole weather mechanism works during this time of the year. We've certainly felt the cold air. What happens, we are now under the influence more from cold polar air rather than warm tropical air. Because we're in the mid-latitudes, we get weather influences from both. So bear with me and I'll show you how the whole thing works. There is Australia. I'm just going to rotate the globe around a little bit. So now we can see the South Pole and the Great Southern Ocean. So it's kind of interesting. This is how we start working out our long-range forecasts somewhat. We're going to look at the next five days. Now over the South Pole, you have a constant high pressure system and wrapping around that is all of these low pressure systems. This is the roaring 40s. Look at the tight isobars, powerful winds there. There's that belt of high pressure caught in the mid latitudes. But these low pressure systems are spinning around clockwise and they're rotating quickly around the South Pole. And that part of the globe has been incredibly active and very, very consistent now for the past two weeks. So that kind of tells us that this influence of cold air is going to remain. We're up to Monday the 21st across the weekend and look at that massive polar storm. Two intense lows there, all of the white shading, that is snow. Look at the tight isobars, massive waves there will hit the south coast across Bells Beach. But because these polar storms are just so big, all of that cold air is shooting off them into the upper parts of the atmosphere and through the centre of high pressure systems that's where cold air falls. That's why our nights have been so incredibly icy, consistently sub-zero temperatures up on the ranges. So I hope you understand it a little bit better. All that cold air shooting up from the South Pole, falling into the mid-latitudes, coming down, reaching the surface at night underneath those high-pressure systems. Even though the day is pretty good, especially inland, clear uh, and cool, a little bit of cloud and shower activity along the coast. But overall, this dry, cold run is set to continue because of a very active South Pole.